Hi, uh, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being, and I have been chosen to be targeted. Now, the word targeted is very interesting. Um, it has a lot of meanings. It could mean, uh, you know, that bullseye thing that you're shooting at, or the thing that you're aiming for, or that you're heading for, you're reaching for, that you want your target, your goal, when you're transfecting genes with viral uh, transfection agents, you are taking the donor genes and inserting them into the target genome. Um, there's so many meanings to that word. Uh, anyway, the, the, the thing that I keep finding myself going back to is the need to, I'm shaking, I'm sorry, the need to share my life experience with another. The feeling that, that what I'm experiencing is <clears throat> so special so extraordinary that I just feel I must share it. Um, there are many who I read their, their emails and postings and stuff who feel that it's very difficult to come forward or that it's better to suffer in silence because of the fear of being thought insane or, you know, not fitting into the programming of the social structure, the norm. But we are being used and in many ways. So the fact that many of us are still breathing despite horrific torture uh, lends to the fact that <clears throat> there is a story to be told and the people who are doing this to us want that story told. But they want it told in a particular fashion, a particular amount, and uh, they want it regarded in a particular way. As with anything, like we take HIV, for example, the human immunovirus that destroys the immune system of the individual. Uh, it took many years before, quote unquote, medical science uh, fully recognized, and then longer still before drug companies could fabricate usable medications. Uh, that didn't just kill the patients, and longer still before governmental and social policy was instantiated to uh, deal with the ec epidemic of HIV-related or HIV-caused deaths. The parallel here being Morgellons, or whatever you want to call it, this organism that was created in a laboratory, synthetic biology, nanoscale self-assembly, biogenesis, and uh, synthetic or actual genome instruction sets, genomic information strings. <clears throat> um, The science here, I feel, is very complex. I could be wrong. It could just be that I have such a, a, a creative mindset that the outside the box thing that I come up with so many uh, possibilities <clears throat> as to how this technology may be functioning. <clears throat> and 
and frequently I find myself saying, perhaps it's simpler, perhaps it's simpler. But based on my experience and the experience of my wife uh, witnessing one another's experience and experiencing it, I would have to say that uh, it is highly possible that this technology is uh, targeting individuals who have been exposed to a particular genomic set or string or a particular <coughs> metamaterial um, <coughs> designed uh, the nanoscale to resonate at particular frequencies such as quantum dot technology or nanocrystalline structures that are layered with vanadium oxide or whatever else and uh, there's some interesting work being done on terahertz uh, <coughs> frequency imaging um, Is it x-rays? Is it close to x-rays? Are radio waves and photons connected? These are the things I don't understand yet. At what point on the electromagnetic spectrum does it change from being an EM transverse wave to a photon, a light, and then back again to an EM transverse wave? Something is missing here, <coughs> excuse me, in, in our science and uh, I need to figure this out. The, the particle wave thing um, is one of the, the questions that they've maintained our, our knowledge of. There are many things in science that are kept from the public purposely for national security reasons uh, or whatever other excuse they want to make up. Um, anyway, I believe that with most things, if enough outrage is heard from the public, meaning everyone, the people who still are part of society, the people who feel they're unaffected by this, um, everyone needs to recognize the seriousness of this transition we are being forced into and um, my my mind is um, a terrible thing to waste is frequently interrupted by uh, loss of memory loss of higher functioning loss of ability to multi task and um, if I am a an example a test case a uh, we're doing this to you now to get lots of data so we can do this to everyone else better later kind of thing then you know here here you are here's what society will be um, dumbed down to the point where they're barely able to remember, you know, and, and then there's just so many layers to this social structuring and manipulation, and, and when you start to really realize that, that almost everything in our lives at this point is being manipulated, and as brain science, the understanding of the human brain, the human genome, cellular bio biology, and um, all, all the other uh, parts of the whole that make up who and what we are and how we interact with our world and our creator and the information that makes us what we are. Um, Uh, I believe that, that electromagnetic or scalar wave functions uh, are being propagated through uh, phased array, networked, um, 
microwave radio system that we are all bathed in. This phone that is recording this message and transmitting it through the airwaves to a, a radio that is receiving it and multiplexing it with other data and sending it to the internet to find a particular server address to ask, can I be here? And respond, challenge, yes, no. Uh, all of this is uh, data, information, information transfer, information quantification. And uh, I was watching last night an interesting well, interesting MIT brain science thing about the monkey that pushes the buttons when one lights up and the other one lights up and, and the patterns get more and more complex and faster and faster and this little monkey is able to push all the buttons in sequence much faster than, than I could possibly do. Um, and it, it was in relation to uh, objects and what we, how, you know, our associations with them, good objects, bad objects, uh, and our association with them, and that this scientist was talking about creating a database of every object and association that one has with objects in order to better manipulate and market to human beings, but this science is also applicable to synthetic biology and designing intelligent systems or beings, uh, and this is where we're going with this. Um, my, my theory is that if you watch uh, mass media, which I do not, if you watch any hit movie that's coming out, there will be truth in it. They are telling us the truth because they need our free will to say, okay. And that way, the wrath of karma or whatever it is, you know, the changing of the balance of the collective unconsciousness may not be so. This is a theory somebody expounded on to me. Um, it's possible. I keep seeing truth. You know, if you go back to when you were a child and begin to watch the things you watched as a child and watch them with a new eye toward their content and manipulation and programming of you as a, a social interactive and individual being, uh, you will find some very interesting things out about yourself and the nature of your perception into this quote-unquote reality we have been privileged and blessed to experience. Um, I know I'm skipping all over the place. Uh, my, my main feeling this morning was I wanted to share the fact that I'm alive and thinking and breathing and experiencing and I wanted to share that. I felt that that my life has been made so, uh, you know, all the importance in my life has been removed, has been taken away, my purpose, my uh, feelings of, of, of self-worth and, and strength and ability and health and, and you know, desperately reaching out to share a bit of myself with anyone um, because that's all I have left, really. Uh, although that's not fully true. And, um, but that's the feeling. And, uh, the emotions are, are the driving factor behind the intellectual manipulation. So, we're at 15 minutes almost, and that's all they let me upload now. So, thank you for watching. Uh, God bless you all. And I hope and pray this will end one day soon for everyone. Thank you.